Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So today I have a nice little, um, Today I'm sharing one of my favorite things with you again, and that is Korean Beauty. And we're gonna go through a few products I haven't really tried before. So, um, well, actually some I have, but um, I'm gonna have some new things as well. And I just wanna give a huge thank you to today's sponsor of this video, and that is Sayovana. And they are an online shop where you can purchase Asian beauty and fashion products. They have some incredible stuff on there. Some stuff that I actually haven't heard of before, so. Uh, I'll be going back into that website and grabbing some bits for myself. And they have given me a 15% off code for you all, which I'll pop right on the screen here and I'll put in the description box below. Um, and I'll pin it in a, as a comment as well. You can get 15% off some of my absolute favorite brands like McQueen, Thank You Pharma, Hymish, I think I always say that wrong, Skin and Lab, Perito, Moonshot as well. I can go on and on and on. There's so many amazing brands on there. So I'm gonna go through some of the products that they have very kindly gifted to me. And we're gonna create a look today like I said, I'll link all the products that I've used below for you guys, so you can check them out for yourself. All right, I actually need to take off my rings really quickly. This is like a five minute process. So we're gonna kind of go into something that I don't really usually talk about on my channel because I don't have the biggest knowledge of it. Um, and we're gonna talk about a little bit of skincare they've sent me. This is the Simple Calming Toner. Prepping your skin for makeup is so incredibly important. So this is actually made for more sensitive skins. My skin isn't incredibly sensitive, um, but I am having like a slight, um, I don't know how to say it, like my forehead is incredibly dry. Like it kind of has become a little bit crusty and I do have like mixed textures on my skin. So I'm very dehydrated around this area here. So it's nice to kind of use something that's just overall made for a sensitive skin type because I know I'm not gonna get irritated by anything because then I know it's gonna work with me no matter how my skin's kind of acting that day, which at the moment seems to be like it changes its mind every five minutes. <laughs> so next up, I'm going in with a simple daily lotion. One thing I personally always look for in my morning skincare routine or my um, pre-makeup skincare routine are words like lotion, gel, water, things like that, because I'm very, very oily. At the same time, I'm extremely dehydrated. And my oils always, always, always will interfere with my makeup if I don't prep my skin correctly. Using products that are gonna hydrate the skin with words like lotion, uh, have a very thin, watery texture, it's gonna make sure that your skin is getting enough hydration, but it's not being overly hydrated. And in that way, we're still caring for our skin and still prepping it correctly for our makeup. Look at this, oh, it's painful. And you can see it as well, it is more of a lotion. It's very thin in texture, it's very watery. I know there's some of you out there who aren't using moisturizer before your makeup, because you think it's a bad thing. Guys, get yourself a lotion, honestly. <laughs> You still need, I actually had this conversation with someone the other day, I hope she doesn't mind me talking about it. Obviously I'm not gonna use her name, but she didn't like to use skincare before her makeup because of the way um, it was kind of sitting under her skincare, but what she was using was too heavy. It was like a night cream, um, it, was, it was way too thick. So of course it's gonna interfere with your makeup and, and yeah, not good. So this is from Thank You Pharma. This is the Sun Project Light Sun Essence, SPF 50 PA++ Plus, so you have a very high protection there. I wear SPF 50 every single day. There is not a day, unless I'm like staying in away from windows, there's not a day where you won't find me wearing SPF 50 on my body, on my face. I want to be covered. Oh, oh. oh. That smells amazing. One thing I've always, always loved about Korean sunscreen, they don't sit on the skin like that kind of uncomfortable, like your mum put sunscreen on for you kind of texture. They don't interfere with your makeup. So you still get that protection, but you don't get that greasy feeling on the skin. This is beautiful. Like I love this. The smell is amazing. It's not overpowering and it's thin. I'm, that's not gonna interfere with my makeup in any way at all. I like to let my skincare sit for like a minute or two before my foundation, just so my skin can kind of like do what it needs to do with it. I don't know how skin works, but um, it does. <laughs> so let's talk about very quickly. I think I'm gonna start on my skin first today. Let me just talk about these. McQueen is a really great brand. If you've never heard of a brand McQueen, I love their eye pencils. I think they're really great. They're incredibly, incredibly long lasting and extremely affordable, so affordable. This is the McQueen Air Fit Cover Concealer, but they do also make the Slim as well. So this is kind of your um, original concealer size and this is the bigger one. 
This could be used as a foundation easy. I have used this already and I absolutely love the texture. Oh, there's glitter on my face. Whoops. That's from probably like yesterday. I love the texture of this. It is a concealer without being too heavy. Let's try it, you'll go see. I have a separate foundation. So if you do like using concealer as foundation, there's no harm in that. As long as you are removing your makeup properly, having a good double cleanse, Let's try the thin one on the other side. This is a very tiny applicator. That's great, I can get right into there. I like that option. I like that you have that option. So I just put that, basically, I get quite red around my nose here um, and in my like crevices. So I always like to do like a pre-layer. It's, you know when you get that spot and it's just so painful. One of the really nice things about this concealer is it doesn't have this insanely matte texture or this insanely like makeup-y finish to it. It looks natural on the skin. I would have maybe gone one shade darker next time. Um, I do like to brighten around my eyes, but I don't want it to be like pure white, you know, but that's always fixable. I usually do my foundation first and then see how much that covers and then I cover my blemishes, but um, this one is gonna be little nasty thing to get rid of. Okay, let's go into foundation. I have absolutely used this before. This is the Moonshot Micro Setting Fit Cushion. This is one of my absolute favorite brands. Moonshot is one of my favorite Korean beauty brands. And this foundation is one of my favorite cushion foundations. So I know I like this already. I um, adore, adore, adore this foundation. So it comes like this, the cushion inside there. So you literally just push this into then and apply it straight into the face. And it has a place to keep your sponge so it isn't touching the actual product itself. One thing that's great about the sponge that comes with this, they're usually completely round, is it has that slight tip on the end here. So you can get right into those little crevicey areas and get a little bit more precision, a little bit more definition. Let's go ahead and just build that up. And I like the finish off these kind of cushions as well. I have quite a few of these and I haven't used them for a really long time because it's been a long time since I've worn makeup, not in front of camera. If I'm gonna wear makeup out and it's very rarely I do, it's, either, it's just if I have like a blemish that I want to cover, then I will use um, what, something like this. I have a few different ones to kind of push it into the skin and get a really nice natural coverage because you can still see skin, it still looks like skin. I'm actually gonna use that sponge with a little bit of a concealer. Just tap that under the eyes. Just lighten those areas where I want to add a bit more brightness. I love these sponges, I forget how much I love these. I'm just gonna add a bit of blush, I'm gonna use a Moonshot Air Blusher. Um, again, Moonshot, my favorite, one of my favorite brands. And this kind of like nudey pink tone is the kind of colors I like to go for. I don't like bright pink. I don't like bright orange, but I do like muted versions of those colors, if that makes sense. So this kind of like um, colder tone pink. Why do spots have to be like shiny as well? Why can't you just be a shape and red? Why do you have to have a glow, <laughs> you know? I just wanna go in with this kind of um, peachy blush here. I just wanna add a bit of a peachy glow just here. If you want a really natural finish, just grabbing a powder brush and then tapping it into a product like this and then bouncing off the cheek. How I used to do in like in the uh, Tudor times, you know? <laughs> so let's start with the eyes. I'm gonna take these incredibly stunningly presented palettes. These are from Hamish. And this is the Rose Memory Palette, which comes like this, almost like in a little book. And then this is the Brick Brown Palette. I love this packaging. I'm just gonna keep the packaging as well also. <laughs> so they come just like this. And one thing that's great about this palette, it comes with a brush, but it's not that um, disposable applicator. It actually has a really nice, um, tip here and then like a blending brush on the other side. So they'll come in useful. I know people don't like to buy like a million brushes, um, but it keeps it portable as well. It has a, definitely a few rosy colors in there. I would say this one's gonna be a little bit more natural. Um, I think both of them are gonna be quite neutral really. They just, they just look really sleek. Mm. I love a good beige. There's something about beige I'm like, so I'm gonna start off with the, the Rose palette. I'm gonna go into the shade Dark Rose to get us started. And just use this as our kind of um, transition shade. That texture is incredibly soft, 
very easy to blend, but it's great pigmentation as well. Like it looks like the color it is in the palette, which is always a bonus. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's take some under the eye. Where's the brush that came with it? Take that right underneath the eye. I don't like to be too precise. That's why I'm using the fluffy part because I want it to almost be like the transition, but under the eye. So I wanna add a boost of color. So I'm gonna take the shade Pink Rose, which is this very, very pink shade. And I'm just gonna take that through the socket. Not as high up as we did with the other color. Nice. Actually, I'm gonna go back in with the first shade that we use, that Dark Rose, and then just take that a little bit higher up. All right. So I was also in this other palette. This is from the brand Corinco, Corinco, and it's the Shabam Shabam Eyeshadow Bar Palette. <laughs> so cute. And this is um, number one. I just want to go for this kind of like deeper, it's a brown, but it has like this ready tone to it. There's this really incredible deep, deep brown here in this brick palette. And I want to focus that, and I want to focus that right on the outside corners, like very, very precise. Oh no. So it doesn't shatter when you drop it, which is great. There's a shade Red Brick, which is just here. And I want to put that almost as our step into like that glow of Halo. It's like so, so it has that warmth. These are beautiful eyeshadows, they're so, so nice. They really do have great pigmentation to them. They're quite, they're very strong. And what's nice is that you kind of have in each palette a choice of those deeper tones or a choice of like more natural tones, which is beautiful. So we have in our rose palette, the shade Rose Petal Glitter, which is this one right here. I don't know if it's showing up so great on, on camera, but it's almost like this pinky rose gold. I'm actually gonna take the brush that it came with as well, because I want to use this, this dense tip right here. I'm just gonna wet the end of the brush. And let's make that shine just on the middle. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Yes. <laughs> as much as I say I hate glitter, there's nothing more satisfying than like an intense glow, like a shine. It's the taking off part I don't like. I love that. I, <laughs> yeah. I'm just tapping just around the edges of that glow to give it like a really nice fade in. Then right next to it, oh, did I get that wrong? So this is rose petal glitter, this is rose gold glitter. So I'm gonna take the rose gold glitter and to make it even more like spotlight and halo, I'm gonna use the tip of this brush that it came with and literally just do a little boop, boop, boop right on the tip. And then again, using that tip, I'm almost gonna do a line in the middle of the lid. So we get that concentration of color. I'm just using this dry, um, I'm not gonna wet the brush this time. It probably still was a little bit wet anyway. And then I'm just gonna tap a little bit in there to get a nice shine. Whoa. I love that. That has come off like foil. So I'm gonna take a brush with a little bit more of a precise tip and I'm gonna go into that deep brown again in our brick palette and just really, really get up into that lash line. I'm just gonna, again, take the brush that it came with. I'm gonna use a fluffy side and I'm just gonna buff that around here. I'm so sorry, I've got to zoom in. Um, Yeah, let's darken it up. These waterproof gel liners from McQueen are the best pencil liners for longevity, for um waterproofness ever. They're so, so great. I'm gonna take this on a waterline. If you have, um very leaky eyes, very wet eyes. Go for these pencils. They are just in incredible. They're, they do flesh ones as well, so it's not just dark black and everything. They do brown, they do bronze. Um, 
yeah, there's flesh colors. So I'm gonna just go um, along the top here. I'm not actually gonna, I don't wanna like wing it. I don't think I just want like a bit of darkness on the outside corner. But also super easy to use because they kind of just slide on. Because it is, it's weird because it's that gel texture, but it's not um, like slippy and slidey. They do really, they move nicely, but they stay completely put. Okay, I believe that is everything to show you. So I'm going to work on some of my own lashes and then, um, yeah. Okay, everyone, this is a finished look. I am so, so happy with these eyeshadows. They are so incredibly pigmented. That um, shimmer in the middle is like cream. It's it's incredible. My skin looks great. My skin feels great. The touch of colour is just perfect. Um, that's actually a really, really nice colour. I think sometimes on myself I go maybe a little bit too orange because I have this thing like, oh, use a little bit or I go a little bit too pink. Whereas this is, is beautiful, this um, the Moonshot blush. These eyeshadow palettes, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, look, they're really cute. You can just carry them both around with you. So, so nice. I, I think they're absolutely beautiful. You can see the SPF that I've used on my skin, the one from Thank You Pharma. Hasn't interfered with my makeup in any way. I don't look excessively shiny. I have a bit of a nice glow to my skin, but that's it. The foundation, the Moonshot cushion, beautiful. That concealer, incredible. Um, McQueen is so great. McQueen is such an incredible, incredible brand. Do check it out because it's so affordable, but the products are just great. They're, they're really, really good, good products. Yeah, I am so, so happy with the end result. Like I said, everything I've used will be linked below for you. So go ahead and check them out. I'll leave that discount code down there for you as well. So you can get yourself 15% off. Get these eyeshadow palettes. Oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so happy. Thank you so much again to Sylvana for sponsoring this video and sending me these incredible, incredible products. Please consider subscribing for more content like this in the future and I will see you very soon. Bye.